formula. Okay, so there's no questions, I believe. So we'll go ahead and move on. Now we are in the musicianmysteries.org uh, website. And this is, like I said, uh, part of the Kennedy University. And uh, here in the, the under the certificate, Courses and kinetic studies have. Uh, you find uh, two uh, courses uh, that have been added here, and one uh, that we just discussed, which is the African Origins uh, of Civilization course, and the new one, which is being instituted uh, currently, uh, which is the uh, Mysteries of the Temple of Access. And the uh, effect meditation system. So, it, uh, at the time when this uh, website, when this page was first created uh, last month, uh, this was a, a proposed class. And uh, uh, an email feedback was sent out uh, to the general email group, uh, and, and there was a strong support. Uh, for having it, and, and so a decision was made to to go ahead uh, and, and institute the course. The uh, course, uh, I'm going to read through a few things, and then uh, uh, I'm not going to read through everything because I'll leave that I'll leave that for you to to look at. Uh, I'll just highlight a few things, and uh, then we will have a a brief discussion about it, but uh, this is the part one, and then there's been an update, and so the update is what we're going to go to next. Uh, so let me go through the proposal itself so you get an idea of what, what it's all about. <clears throat> this course will be conducted online by Sabai Dr. Guada Ashby, priest of the Temple of Osef, Isaac who recently returned from a trip to Italy, to Italy, where he personally inspected the original text uh, that will be covered in this online class. This weekly course, is, it's not weekly anymore. We've decided to change it to a bi-monthly, which means uh, it'll be every two weeks uh, to give. Uh, there's so much material uh, and there's so much to work with that uh, uh, it will be given uh, every two weeks. But I'll discuss that uh, in a minute. Uh, beginning the, in the fall, uh, it will be using the original translations of the hieroglyphic scriptures of the temple, uh, covering the initiatic meaning and the special meditation system that the temple prescribes for devotees of the temple of Upset. So uh, this is going to be uh, basing the teaching on a particular scripture, and we'll see a picture of it in a bit. Uh, that was used by the initiates of the Temple of Asset uh, in the studies. And it's also part of a great myth that was uh, known to everyone uh, in ancient times, you know, along with the Asari resurrection uh, and the creation myth and, and uh, the teaching of Ptah. And this is one of them, one of the great myths uh, that uh, contains uh, the story of how uh, Asset uh, came down to Earth as a physical uh, human being, and how she became uh, an enlightened being. That's that's the story in a nutshell. Now, how she did that—that's the important aspect of the the teaching uh, that uh, the course is based upon, and the course that what the course will be disseminating. This course will include slide presentations with images of the original papyruses and temple wall inscriptions used uh, for the Temple of Isis and the Anunian theology hieroglyphic text 
of the creation. So these are some, some of the other texts that will be included. It won't be just that one. We'll be discussing or bring in, uh, at certain points, we'll bring in text from the temple itself, inscriptions of the temple that those of you who visited, you, you would have seen these inscriptions in the, uh, the sanctuary, the Holy of Holies room. Uh, also, we will be using a papyrus text of the creation, uh, the Anunian creation. This, this is a teaching of Anunian theology that feeds into the uh, text, the main text. So the main, we'll have the main text, and then we'll have some satellite text that we'll be looking at sections of as they feed into the main text. And all of this is going to be based on the hieroglyphic text of the teaching. Uh, of something that, uh, that should be very exciting and, and interesting uh, to, to go through. Let's move on a little bit. Teaching of the Temple of Seth was originally introduced by Sabaima and the book Wisdom. It was first titled Wisdom of Isis, and then it changed to Mysteries of Isis uh, in uh, 1996. And then the teaching of the Temple of Isis was presented at the 2007 Ethereum conference, uh, but that was basically an introduction. Um, and it wasn't completely based on the hieroglyphic text. It, it, was, it, it was a teaching that was given through the iconography and through the mythology also. And at the 2014 Ethereum conference, the assessed meditation system uh, and its metaphysics uh, were introduced. Uh, the introductory lecture series on the Asset Meditation System based on the teaching of the Temple of Isis Asset and the scripture known as the Myth of Asset and Ra. And this video, uh, the, the video of the 2007 uh, uh, Nefarian Conference is, is uh, in, I think, Lesson 2 of this course, this present course, that I will be included. The ebook will also be included, uh, and the Assess Meditation uh, lectures from the 2014 Military Conference will also be included, uh, but that will be uh, about, about a month or two down the line uh, when we get to, to that section. First of all, we have to go through the text mythologically, and then we will go through it uh, kind of metaphysically and into the meditation system. So those will be uh, available through the, the lessons of this course. So, so in this regard, the section here, we'll be changing that as to the cost of the program. So it's more of a subscription now, so it's not a, uh, a one-time fee. Uh, I'm going to hold off on discussing this image here right now because we're going to move on to, uh, I think, uh, maybe the, the whole one. And we'll go from there. This that we see right, right here is an actual picture that I took of the scripture when I visited. Uh, after our trip to Timmouth uh, this past summer, I went on a side trip. We did a, a talk in London. And then I did a side trip to Italy, uh, where I got to visit uh, uh, the Temple of, of Isis uh, of Roman times uh, in, uh, in Pompeii. And uh, they also had another temple in Rome as well. Uh, so Isis was very popular throughout ancient Europe as well, before the Christian church closed them down. But anyway, and then I went to the north part of Italy to a city called Turin, where you have the the uh, Turin Museum, and this is the the uh, preserved version of the teaching of the temple uh, of Aset, the, the, the myth of Aset and Ra. And this is going to be the main scripture that we're going to be dealing with. And it, with each lesson, uh, each week, or with each lesson uh, that is given, you're going to get a, a PowerPoint presentation with the hieroglyphic text uh, at, so that you'll have it as we're working through it. Uh, you'll be able to flip through it, you'll be able to look closely and work with it. And uh, there's going to be a lot of interesting things that are going to be given, a lot of interesting metaphysical aspects, 
and uh, in-depth study of of uh, individual words. Uh, there's going to be a lot of that, uh, and, and, and there's going to be a webinar like this, a lecture, and then there's going to be a um, uh, a, a kind of uh, lesson uh, discussion writing that will be given uh, from the notes uh, that I'll be discussing. Uh, and so this will be the first time that the course is given. After the course is given, that's going to be available there for new students coming in. And uh, they will not have live webinars, but they will have live feedback and live chat room, uh, the same thing as the other students. So this is the first time it's being given. Uh, so we're going to have webinars to deliver the course for the first time. And those webinars will become the videos of the course as we go forward. And then I'll be giving, of course, other courses as we develop the um, and build the content of the Kennedy University. So every two weeks we'll have a webinar uh, and we'll be discussing, we'll be working through uh, and uh, uh, I should discuss, well, we'll get to that. I'll hold that for now. This is the scripture, as I'm sure right now, this is the scripture of the Anunian creation, the creation myth, and that has important implications that feed into the Aset and Ra scripture. So we'll be using, looking at sections of this, like statements here and there that, um, that feed into it. Uh, this is just a wonderful picture that I thought I'd include of uh, the temple, etc. I, I took this picture actually myself. Uh, on uh, we visited the the temple at night. Uh, we went during the day and we went at night also. And this was one of the I took I took like hundreds of pictures and this is one of the ones that really came out nice. And so that was the the preliminary announcement of the course. And now this is the the uh, update, and this is the actual, uh, you know, so you can disregard some of the some of the things that were said earlier as far as the dates and costs and things of that nature. And so we'll look here at the uh, the updated information. So this course will be entitled Introduction to the Egyptian Mystery Studies, Teachings of the Temple of Aset, Mysteries of Aset and Ra, and the Philosophy of the Aset Meditation System. Uh, part of this course will be introducing the teaching uh, for initiates, for anyone who wants to consider themselves a initiate of the Temple of Aset, a follower of Isis. And along with that, uh, there is a teaching of meditation that is given in the scripture uh, for aspirants to practice. So, this course should be extremely interesting and important for anyone who wants to consider themselves a disciple of the goddess. And that's what it's designed to do. Uh, although the meditation system will be discussed and will be taught, uh, it will not be taught in a way of like a certificate program. Uh, it's going to be more uh, like given and practiced generally. Uh, that, to, in order to do that, in that other way would be having a like a separate course just to deal with the meditation system and the meditation practice itself. So uh, halfway, uh, not halfway, but uh, a quarter of the way through the delivery of the teaching, we will start uh, uh, introducing the meditation system. Uh, but first you have to have the myth down and the philosophy behind the myth, and then you can start understanding uh, the, uh, the issues of meditation system and the meditation behind that. Information here about Dr. Mwada Ashby. And there's another wonderful picture of the temple. This one is during the day. Introduction. I'm just going to read a few sections and I'll let you go through and read. Uh, the significance of the teaching of the Temple of Aset. Words can hardly express the significance of what the achievement of ancient Egypt represents. 
represents for humanity. They displayed the possibility of what true civilization is supposed to be, but even more than that, the ancient Egyptians left as their legacy the achievement of the height of spiritual experience. So not only was ancient Egypt an example of civil and human achievement in terms of ordered and balanced society where all people were provided for, but they recognized that the world is illusory and therefore there needs to be a greater purpose in life besides the entertainment and worldly achievements in terms of wealth, status, progeny, and social standing. They not only recognized this, but ordered the society along the lines established by those when made discoveries when they made discoveries in the inner and inner mind sciences, which they called the hidden mysteries, divine mysteries, or Shadat Meta. Those leaders in the field of the spiritual sciences, the priests and priestesses, created a system of understanding that philosophy of the hidden divine nature in the form of scripture, architecture, healing arts, social sciences, economics, environmentalism, and many other areas. So this class will be dealing with the spiritual advancement. The African origin deals more, more with the civil aspect, the history aspect, uh, and how that, that supports the, the spiritual philosophy. And out here, we're dealing more with the aspect of the sciences of mind, uh, because the, the teaching of the temple is part of the, the Kima Rex, or the yoga of wisdom. The teaching of the temple of a set is of great importance because it holds the keys to discovering spiritual enlightenment in our time. In ancient times, the teaching was widespread in ancient Egypt and it spread to nearby lands, including Nubia, Asia Minor, and Europe. The remnants of satellite temples of Ice of Aset are visible in those lands. This course will constitute an, an in depth study of one of the principal hieroglyphic scriptures of the temple, along with some related hieroglyphic text. I didn't discuss that before. And here is uh, an example of some of the texts that will be discussed. We'll actually be, be discussing uh, texts from the sanctuary room, uh, this is the Holy of Holies room of the Temple of Aset uh, in, in Egypt, in Aswan, Egypt. Okay, the importance of this course and the special nature of how it will be delivered. Uh, basically, you can read it, but essentially, uh, I was thinking about doing a course that would have a specific beginning and ending uh, in uh, October and at the end of the year, uh, but I decided to, to make it open uh, so that uh, it would give me uh, also ample time to prepare the lessons and to to work, um, you know, to, to post them and to put them up and, and to get everything ready. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, so it, and it will be a more relaxed kind of schedule. It is designed to go probably somewhere between 12 and 20 lessons. Uh, so that's 12 to 20 two-week period or Twelve to twenty-one week period. However, you look at it. So, it probably will go into go through the end of the year, and it will run into next spring, into early spring. And it's going to be flexible in the way. It's going to have the archives, the forms, the chat room, the feedback uh, that you're going to get, and uh, possibly a couple of, of new features as well. And the, the difference of this course also that is here is that it's going to be a um, uh, it, it, the, the PowerPoint is going to be very a very strong component of this uh, particular program. 
uh, it will be included uh, as part of the the lecture, but we're going to be working with it uh, pretty strongly uh, as we work through the uh, the uh, material. Uh, so get, so either PowerPoint or the, the PDF, but probably more PowerPoint. So you'll, you'll be able to actually see some animation and how things kind of get put together as opposed to just having a static 2D uh, uh, format for, for looking at the material. Now in this image, you can see the main scripture, which is the teaching of a set in law, and the connected uh, scriptures that will be used, and uh, so we discuss the Indian creation myth and some uh, sections from the temple itself. So then we'll be looking at the high, some hieroglyphic inscriptions themselves from the temple itself, uh, and and actually I think we're going to be starting with that. Uh, and uh, uh, yes. I think that's actually the first scripture we're starting with when we start working with the scriptures, uh, and uh, because that is going to give us a the the invocatory prayer that we'll be using for the rest of the course. Uh, so the there will be uh, some bonus scriptures. So I just uh, give you kind of indication of what those might be. Uh, and these are not going to be expensive. We're going to take like statements or paragraphs from here there that feed into the main scripture, so that it'll augment the teaching, and it'll be a more holistic approach uh, that will connect uh, the teaching to the conceit of ramifications and the, the greater expansion of it. And when you engage in your own personal study, your own personal spiritual practice, you're going to have lots of, of material to work with, lots of, of really wonderful uh, scripture to to look at that you're going to be able to have entry into. The course parameters is that you are to if you're interested in uh, in uh, registering for the course, uh, you go to the application page. Uh, we'll just go there. I'll just use this, this tab here to go there. You have an application page where you go and fill out the application. As you, you copy it onto a email and uh, send it in, and you'll receive a link to the registration page. And then you can uh, start joining the course. The course is being given in a open format now, but I strongly recommend uh, that uh, those who want to take this course, uh, who have never taken any courses, or who are not uh, who have not attended conferences, or who are not like really uh, into, uh, or you're not like uh, uh, well acquainted, let's put it that way, uh, with the uh, teaching of Egyptian yoga and Shadat Nether, uh, then uh, it is highly recommended that you should take the level one uh, study. Uh, at, at least, at least um, level the level one study. Let me go to this and see what I mean by that. The level one study. Is the Assel College Initiatic Study Program, and like I said before, this takes you from scratch as an aspirant, and then level two, you're you're kind of like a, a going moving towards intermediate as aspirant. So the level one gives you a strong foundation in the teaching. Uh, for and this uh, this works for all of the other studies. Level one is really comprehensive and easy uh, uh, And level one has uh, two levels actually within it, or, or two parts. And one deals with the uh, introduction. This is, this is something I didn't say in the other video, but it's kind of a slide. It deals with the introduction to the Yoga and religion. That's part one. 
and then it has a part two, uh, which deals with the introduction to the Egyptian mystery. And so what I'm suggesting is that those who want to do the the temple of effect, the teaching of temple of effect, uh, if you're coming from scratch, uh, that you should take the level one, part one, at least. Or uh, first, uh, uh, and if you do not do it first, uh, perhaps you should consider doing them uh, at the same time, uh, because that will give you a, a basis, a strong foundation to be able to really uh, have entry into the teaching of the temple of effect. So that that really should be a prerequisite, but not really. It's only a recommendation right now. Uh, so because it, it might be a little too advanced uh, if you do not have that foundation. So if you have any questions about that, you can contact me through an email or call to have a discussion about it. But that would be my recommendation. Uh, here's another picture of, of our trip. And uh, we are, this, this one we are in the, in the Temple of Aset complex, and we're looking in the chapel of Heheru. And I was uh, showing the the holograms also of the images that are in that chapel and how it was depicting the story of the return of Heteru from her, her journey. And uh, that brings up another point that this, with the introduction of this scripture, uh, this constitutes the second, this or will constitute the second major uh, meditation system that is being introduced. So the first one was the the teaching of Hetheru and Jehuti, which is the glorious light meditation system. And uh, this one will be the second major meditation system that will be introduced and eventually probably will have a separate book and that will be based on the, the slide presentations and things like that. Uh, you know, maybe next year that will happen. Uh, and then uh, next year, uh, I'm planning for a, a third meditation system to be introduced, and that one I discussed in the 2013 conference. So, and they're being given separately and uh, within a separation time, so there'll, there'll be no confusion, and, and uh, so you can start seeing the, uh, you know, how they uh, they work for different personalities, for different different uh, modes of understanding and so on and so forth. But this year we're dealing with the assessment meditation system and the teaching of the temple. Another picture from the interior of the temple. This is the, what you're looking at here actually is the Holy of Holies room, the sanctuary, and this is the main room of the temple uh, and the room where we're taking the scriptures from that we're going to be discussing, the ones that are coming from the temple. So you're going to have audio, you're going to have video from the 2007 conference, the 2014 conference, the, uh, there's some audio as well, and you're going to have uh, new lectures, uh, some new webinars that will be done uh, every two weeks, and you, you're going to have the e-book, or you're going to, have to actually have a, a couple of e-books that are going to be worked with. Uh, sections from them, and and then you're going to be posting your assignments in the in the forums, like I said before. And uh, we'll just show the forums one more time when we get through this section. I discussed this earlier. The teaching will be delivered uh, every two weeks, roughly, and uh, is expect, expected to last. Four to six months, and uh, about twelve to twenty lessons, and so uh, it's scheduled to start the first week in October. Uh, although I, I was considering uh, having a, a kind of orientation meeting on Friday, uh, simply because I was going to be going away for a couple of weeks, and. Uh, and this might give uh, actually additional time to work on the first lesson. Uh, so, so if there's enough interest in that, and there's no conflict in the schedule, uh, we can talk about that uh, for those who are interested in the course and want to register. Otherwise, 
uh, it can be started uh, in uh, in October, the first week in October, uh, or uh, thereafter, uh, as I discussed earlier. So you should not feel compelled to start it on October 5th, you can start on November 2nd, or, or any, any day after that. So I'm going to be traveling, I'll be back uh, the uh, October 1st, and so between now and then, the lesson is pretty much ready. Uh, so I was going to start making it available as of Friday if anyone wants to register for the course uh, for that to be decided later. So the format of the webinar classes is that there's going to be one to two hours, and hopefully, uh, you know, say one to one and a half hours. There's going to be a lecture on a particular subject that's being covered as we work through the text. And then there's going to be a, a brief break and then a Q&A and a meditation at the end. This is the, the idea uh, behind the course. And now since we don't have a hard deadline uh, or rush, it means that we do not have to get through a certain set amount of information every single night so we can finish. Uh, it's kind of whatever we get through uh, as we move along. Uh, and that gives us a, a lot of opportunity for wonderful teaching to come through in a relaxed way. Uh, and, and also, we can feel free to recap and make sure there's continuity in the teaching that is being given. And that this is actually closer to the way that the teaching should be given uh, and not in a, a way of rush to a particular uh, semester kind of way to end here, begin here, and end here, and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll be more relaxed for everyone to do it that way, anyhow. There's another picture of the temple, and uh, this one was like a, as we were on the boat uh, ride going to the temple, which is on an island. But all that will be discussed. So each lesson consists of, for the first deliverance of the lesson, will be a live uh, or recorded uh, lecture, study of the text. Uh, readings in the book, uh, answering questions uh, through the lesson lectures, uh, the text that you're studying. Uh, you're going to have a uh, forum that you're going to be posting your answers to the question, and you can see what other people are posting and my replies to them uh, also. So, because when you when you see other things that other people have posted or other questions, that is a whole other element of learning. Uh, so the Q&A section is a kind of whole world in itself of a teaching. Uh, because the teaching is not given the same way as when you have a lecture. Uh, so it gives the different aspects of mental reflection, of mental cognition. So you have access to that. And that's why the archives are so important. I got it so earlier. So you get feedback on the lessons, and then if there are any corrections needed, you can correct those uh, and repost them. If, it, if it's uh, uh, okay, then you can move forward. Uh, another picture from the temple. Uh, this one is at night. Uh, teaching a temple of set lecture classroom format. Uh, it's going to be delivered bi monthly. Uh, two times per month, uh, webinars online to be recorded and posted to the students. You, you have a, a special page to view the archive videos. But actually, uh, the each I should say that each video lesson will be uh, placed inside each lesson page. Uh, so that's how that's going to be done. It's not going to be a separate page for the videos. It's there are going to be each lesson is going to be dedicated to. Uh, each video is going to be dedicated to uh, uh, each um, each lesson that is given. There will be some videos archived, like I said before, from previous lectures, and those will be the ones that are pertinent. Those will be available. PowerPoint presentation and the forums. Another picture, and it's showing a tour group. I don't think that's our tour group, but it is a tour group uh, in 
might be hard to do. More part two. Working at one's own pace, that is stuff that are in. The textbooks that will be used in the course uh, and that are provided in the course are Mysteries of Isis. The Asarian Theology. And the Anunian Theology. And uh, we, we're not going to be reading all uh, from these books, but some of the books are pertinent to the teaching, so sections of them are going to be used. So I don't get there, there could be a lot of reading, a lot of book work, and things like that. Uh, the Ancient Egyptian Hieroglyphs for Beginners, uh, this book will be used also to, to give a little introduction to the meta uh, so you have a kind of a, of a basic insight into the meta and several understanding of it. It'll, it'll help you to have a, a greater feeling and connection with the glyph. Uh, the course fee will be uh, essentially $49 per month uh, for the subscription, and it will be charged weekly. So $12.25 weekly roughly comes up to $49 per month. And uh, uh, current students can get a, a discount. And uh, you can send a uh, uh, email if, if you're interested in in, uh, in doing that uh, as well to get uh, a discount before you register. Now I wanted to show a uh, not on this page. I was trying to show where we have the The, the, with all the meditation systems that we're doing, we have a a wonderful tradition that we've done, which is to create a a meditation map for for the study. And the meditation map gives you these foundations. It's the basic aspect. It's like a formula. It's the basic aspect of the teaching, and um, for you to remember. Every time you see it, every time you, you study it, uh, and you can actually sit on it and be in the energy that the hieroglyphs let off and the images let off. And that is true of the uh, glorious light map, uh, as well as the, the uh, one that we did uh, two years ago for the system of the postures. And uh, we have created one for the effect meditation teaching as well. So actually, there is a poster and a uh, a uh, map, and uh, the, this is the, the center uh, section of it. Let me try to find a picture of the map itself. The poster itself. This is the, the first three lessons of the course have been created. And this is the, the first one. But I'm not really discussing this right now. I want to see if we have the, uh, the uh, picture. This, this is actually something nice uh, that I should show you now, actually. This is uh, I'll, I'll go to, well, actually, let me, let me do that first. Since I said that, let's keep on track. So we want to our, our track here. First, we're going to show a picture. Of the meditation poster and the, the image is essentially the same for the meditation map. And this is now available in the in the t-shirt poster art and craft store. This 
the 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 image of the meditation system poster. Um, uh, it, it's interesting uh, when I first showed it to to Sabaja, uh, uh She was talking about how it, it looks very very complicated, very busy. They call it a business. Uh, like when you have lots of things going on, like maybe even too many things going on. But when you see this uh, in a large format, uh, this is a two by three, two feet by three feet. The meditation mat is actually about uh, about uh, five feet by four feet or, or six feet by four feet, something like that. So it's quite large. It would be uh, like a wonderful thing to hang on the wall. But it's really designed, the, the mat is designed for you to sit on and to be in. Uh, the meditation poster is designed for you to look at. Uh, so it, there are some slight differences on the poster, uh, but essentially everything that you see here uh, correlates, and I guarantee you that uh, by the end of the course, you're going to know uh, all of these lists, their meaning, uh, the teaching behind them, and you're going to be able to look at this at a glance, and you're going to be able to be in the space of the teaching, and you're going to be able to to quickly recall the teaching and be in the energy of the teaching. And that's what it's designed to do. Everything you see here uh, correlates. There are holograms on this uh, poster and on the map. Uh, and there are correlative teachings uh, from, uh, from both sides, and they all relate to, to the, the point in the center uh, of, uh, that, that leads to enlightenment. And uh, this this image has has elements of the scripture from all the scriptures that we're going to be dealing with, but the main ones anyway. And it puts them together using uh, a special kind of tempo harmonic uh, that affects you. Remember when we were each I was talking about that tempo harmonic, the energy of the format, the iconography itself through its measurements, through its form, through uh, the, the harmony of the, uh, the measurements uh, in them. There are some things embedded in, in this image that, that will be discussed later uh, as we get to it uh, and as we work through it uh, that you are going to see uh, there's some geom geometric aspects that are very fantastic and, and, uh, and just Glorious. Uh, the, so this this poster encapsulates all of the teaching in a kind of formula format. All the teaching uh, that will be discussed. So don't uh, don't uh, uh, be scared by that. Let's see what else there is here. We said this, we said that. I think we went through uh, everything. Uh, I suppose I should say uh, my uh, special uh, thought about the, the teaching is that, that that will be delivered through this course is that when you get to do a study that parses the scripture uh, to do a line by line kind of study because uh, much of what I do and what is in the book is a kind of uh, there are different levels of translation there's, there's the uh, uh, the transliteration there's the, the translation, and then there's a contextual translation. And a lot of what you see in the in here in some of my books is a is the final page. Uh, and here, this is what is kind of more unique about this is that I'm doing this in a way that I've been doing the conferences for the last several years, in that we're doing a study based on scriptures. 
themselves, the heart limit switch themselves. Uh, and but in this one, we're not going to limit ourselves to a time frame uh, so that we can only do some of it. We're going to do pretty much all of it. And uh, and, 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 and the, the, the wonderful teaching that is brought through. Uh, there's a, a, a depth that is really wonderful. Uh, and so the, the myth is kind of on the surface, and that in itself is wonderful, but it's still on the surface. You go into the scripture itself, the depth, and that opens up whole new worlds. Uh, it's, it's like you're you're going into a, a fractal kind of world uh, where you're going into, into a, a, a house and then uh, come to realize that there's a whole section, a whole floor underneath in the basement. And below that, there's another floor. And below that, there's another floor, and so on and so forth. Uh, and, and that gives you a, a whole immersion in a teaching that eventually leads you into a one-pointed thought process that, that creates a meditative focus. And that is the, the goal of a teaching of the temple of a set, uh, to, to create a, a kind of thought process that is one-pointed and that breaks through the illusion of creation. And that is uh, what the course is all about. You want to see if there's anything... Oh, I was going to say this. This is a... a I found this online. A 360-degree view of the of the uh, Holy of Holies room of the temple, and, and I showed it to Sister already, and, and she liked it. Uh, basically, we took the song that we played at the beginning, the the uh, adoration to a set, the glory, glory, the Aku Aku, and we put that to uh, we created a video of this 360 degree view of the temple uh, inner room, inner shrine room. And this is actually in lesson one. This is given to you in lesson one. So you can see it. I'll play a little bit and, and we'll see if it comes through. And this, this in itself is like a 10 minute meditation. Thank you. 
Pooja, uh, it looks like I, I hit the, the mute button by mistake on the phone. Okay, I was saying that uh, I was saying that uh, the uh, it's a ten minute meditation essentially, uh, and I was not going to play the whole thing. You you can play it, you know, if you get the lesson, or it will be made available later on uh, for everyone generally to to view. So it's going to be made available first for the. Uh, the uh, uh, people taking the class. So it's, it's, a, it's a special kind of music video uh, design for for the teaching uh, itself. And I was able to find this uh, 360 degree view, uh, and that's kind of played like really wonderfully well for for the purpose. Yeah, I think we covered everything that was to be covered. Uh, I think there, there is going to be a forum, a discussion forum for the uh, teaching of the Temple of that class. It's going to be a separate forum. Uh, here are all the forums that are in the, the school. And these are all for level one studies. And these are for level two studies. And this one, there's only one for the Temple of Aset, and one for the African Origins. So level one has a forum for the, the audio lectures, for the video, uh, for the readings. But the Temple of Aset teaching will have one forum for everything. And uh, there's nothing in there yet, because of course it's not started, but it's basically going to be the same process. You go in and uh, you make your posting here as as usual. And then uh, I will be replying to your post or, or send a will, uh, either one. And then uh, as, as that fills in, that will be the, the archive uh, of all the different postings from the different students. Okay, so I think we kind of hit the main point. Uh, this is the recorder, so it's going to be posted. And uh, if um, this one, along with all the other introductory videos, should be enough to give a good introduction. Uh, to what is being done and uh, the process of the school, how the school works, and everything. Are there any uh, questions or comments? Okay, do we need to reapply if we are already students in the Kennedy University? And uh, 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 no. So just send a, um, an email request. Uh, if you're a current student, and uh, the you'll get a link 
to register and uh, with your discount. Any other questions or comments? So just to show one more thing here, I guess. Uh, like I said, the first three lessons are are done uh, for the, and uh, uh, there's actually I set up a, a separate uh, a separate uh, meeting room uh, in case we we need we need that as well. But I'm not sure we're going to be using that per se, but a separate chat room. Uh, the first three lessons are done. Uh, and uh, basically, the the, um, the first lesson, the, the sign resurrection myth, and how that is the foundation for the teaching of the, or, or how that that introduces that and the teaching of the, and then um, lesson two, we uh, go over the myth of a set and Ra, and uh, we're going to make the videos from the 2007 conference, uh, and then lesson three. We do the glyph, and in lesson four, we actually start going into working with actual the actual scripture. So the first three lessons are done, and like I say, if um, uh, we we can open up the registration starting in uh, in uh, this Friday, uh, so if you want to register this Friday, or you can wait till this month, or however you like to do it or, or not do it, uh, it's uh, up to you. The only question was if, um, if uh, it is actually technically not necessary because the lesson is kind of so explanatory, but I was going to have a kind of uh, orientation meeting, a kind of impromptu kind of orientation meeting if there are students who want to do that uh, to go over the first lesson. Uh, since I'm going to be away for a little while, and then people can register and have time to go over it and everything like that. This is a, a, a closer image of the scripture. You might notice that the scripture, so you can kind of see me in the background I'm taking the picture. The scripture is actually originally written in Haradic. Haradic is a kind of hand, handwriting of the hieroglyph. And, but we are going to be working with the hieroglyphic uh, uh, rendition of the same scripture. So it's the same scripture, but just in, in hieroglyph form. Uh, so it would be much easier to to visualize. Because uh, actually, the hieratic is actually a, a handwriting of the hieroglyphic, uh, if you if you learn how to work with that. But you, you'll see what I mean. Well, when you get through the hieroglyphic, you'll, you'll understand exactly what I mean by that. of the creation. Okay, if there are no uh, other questions or comments, we'll go ahead and conclude uh, for tonight. And uh, this meeting has been recorded. It will be added to the page. Uh, and uh, if, if anyone wants to register for the course, uh, you can go. If you have not been in the um, university previously, just go here to the application page. Uh, if you are already in the one of the other courses, just send an email request. Uh, and this should go here.
here, although this page here. This is the an Egyptian Mystery School uh, menu. Uh, a page that gives you the, uh, a basic summary of the program and the cost of each class. You can have that information. And you, you can conveniently go to the um, application page from there if you're interested. Okay. Yeah, do welcome everyone for attending. I see all the people who are uh, attending. I think some people are left already. Uh, do well for attending. And uh, any questions, any questions or comments, go ahead and send uh, an email or a call. Oh, Mamu's after. Oh, Mamu's after. Oh, Mamu Zapta. Oh, Mamu Zapta. Oh, Mr. 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 You are for attending everyone.